the quarry. I almost passed up on this game completely. I wasn't that interested in it until a bunch of people recommended it. And uh, I, 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 I thought it was another anthology game, which I liked until dawn, but Hidden Agenda was kind of terrible. And then they made these anthology games starting with Man of Medan. I think the fourth one's coming out this year. I was surprised to see that they have another one coming out on top of this, like in the same year. But it's gonna be after October, which kind of feels like it defeats the purpose a little bit, but whatever. Uh, but Man of Medan was very shaky, just kind of incoherent. I've now played it twice because I, I screwed around with some friends and, and gave it a shot in our living room once to, for the couch co-op version of the experience too. And it's just like a really, iffy narrative experience with weird branches and a lot of this a lot of the outcomes you can get are just wildly unsatisfying and kind of incoherent like the game kind of relies on the fact that it has that it's on a weird ship that you can't understand to just have people kind of teleport around and make things happen and i heard generally that the sequel was much worse and i just kind of have generally heard not very positive things about the anthology going forward so i just I just kind of cooled on the idea and never quite got around to doing it again. I, th I thought I would do each of them in co-op the way I did the first one. And maybe I still will someday, but that I just it didn't seem like the big promise that it kind of felt like it was at first. That's a lot of agreements to make. All right, enjoy my organs and stuff. But anyway, this game is out, and it's getting significantly more praise and it seems like more of a return to form or even a continued uh sharpening of their craft since uh until dawn which at this point was actually a while ago wasn't it alternative music that sounds like something i should turn on that sounds like a slightly obscured a version of uh, a streamer mode, but with not wanting to call it a streamer mode. That's what I was actually looking for. But I think I think the uh, I think that might be an attempt at having a streamer mode. So I think they have copyright music that's going to get me in trouble. So thank you for that slightly covert option. But yeah, Man of Dawn was pretty cool. I, I not, blah, 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 sorry, Until Dawn was pretty cool. I beat it twice on this channel because I specifically made a point to go back and beat the entire game in the opposite configuration. So I played the game just naturally the first time and X characters died. And then I was like, all right, let's see how flexible this gets. And I specifically went out of my way to make it so that all of the characters who died my first playthrough survived and all the people who, who survived my first playthrough died. And that was doable. I did exactly that. And that was actually really uh, a neat level of granularity. The there definitely were some very obvious bits of plot armor where like there are uh, the two main characters in that game in particular. Uh, technically everyone can die, but those characters are such frontline star actor characters by comparison that they really made sure that they could not die until as late as possible so any any threat they have up until then is just fake and seeing that artificiality in subsequent playthroughs is a it's kind of a bummer but anyway this will be our first playthrough of the quarry so we won't know which threats are real or not and that'll be i guess there's that at least <laughs> It gets to have the full magic of potentially lying to us.
Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Whoa! <laughs> Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Oh, heads up. What? You didn't tell me? Okay, it's a, jo yeah, it's a joystick. Nice catch. That was cute, but you didn't actually tell me what a QTE controls is. Ah. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh... I mean, yes, map, please. Ah, voila! What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how do happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. The normal map. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! Whoa. Max! Oh. Stop the car! Back. Are the QTEs intentionally hard to read? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh. I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. There was immediately someone behind them in the car. Oh, are you guys a cold open couple? Are you super fucked? You guys are super fucked, aren't you? You told, you're totally the people that die in the intro to establish the tone, and then we meet the real cast afterwards. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me.
their faces are getting less creepy over the course of their sequels. There's like, it's such a mix of like uncanny, oh no, and no, that looks pretty good. Where am I allowed to walk? But yeah, the first time they showed me a QTE, I thought I had to press a button timed with when the circle matches the circle, like with a... Uh... Oh, didn't press it fast enough because I wanted to finish talking. Welp. <laughs> Damn it. I thought it was Elite Beat Agents where I had to press the QT. I had to press the button right when the outside circle matches the inside circle, but it actually was a joystick. Uh, and you're actually supposed to pick up on a really small arrow that's less apparent than the giant joystick icon tarot collection. Camp Laura. Do you still have stats for no reason in this game? They had stats before, which is very strange. Did I just miss out on that entire tutorial? But interruptions. Alright, well. <laughs> Took one second too long talking for a moment. Snoop. Oh man. Look at me. I don't respect people's privacy in the Oh. Max. Why didn't you tell me? Honestly, this is barely snooping. Like it's just a paper that's just sitting out in the open with our luggage. Thanks, hon. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. That can't Soon be perfect at such a low angle. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then Picture yourself going up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Nope. I guess you don't need to lie anymore. Bye. Oh, that's good. She didn't even react to that. Was she not looking in the same in that direction? That that that, that was worth a gas. Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. <laughs> Are you my bo- No, it's the... Defiant? That's just unnecessary. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that is. They could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. So she did see her. She's just not, like, reacting directly at first. <laughs> I would I would have definitely made a noise immediately. Okay. Luck with the car. If someone like Bigfoot's past me in the dark. The lighting is beautiful in this game. Like that whole intro with the uh, all the all the t other shots of the car going by and like the beautiful like scattered light and then if you'll notice, they keep making a point to have... Okay, my my ponytail lighting doesn't make any sense right now. In that one angle, at least. Looks better now. Uh, they make a point to have defects based on the camera that doesn't exist. You can see, like, uh, light catching in the scratches on the lens or something. And I'm like, there's no camera. It's a video game. <laughs> but they're artificially adding cinematic elements like camera defects. They, they were doing it a minute ago with when we had the, the hood popped too there was some, so there was stuff on the uh, camera not lens flares just other things she's just going we are immediately at risk of being turned around Escapology drunk trunk what? Freak show fire. 
the escape escapology trunk a trunk filled with strange devices that of an, an escapologist perhaps <laughs> you keep using that word without defining the word a relic of a traveling show that must have passed through the air what's an es escapologist is it escapism or the art of escaping like like houdini or something is that the idea you're one one whomst escapes and that's your your whole bit uh huh we played escape academy and i think they used might have used that word and we thought we took it as like a joke like a made-up word so here so it's just a trip to see again Either these two get out of here alive, and they they go arrive in the plot with more characters, or they absolutely die, and that that leads uh, to us being aware that some shit is up. But all the characters we know won't know because they didn't, they weren't here. What the hell? Silas the Dog Boy. Okay, so it happened again. There's this a. It's too weird. What I'm realizing is there's an extended animation where the left bumper prompt goes away, and it's like I was waiting for her to finish talking. She's like, because she was saying a few words out loud. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll after she finishes saying those words, I'll press left bumper, right? That's so. That's when I press left bumper, and uh, it didn't work. I hammered on it for a bit, and it didn't work. But you can see it was still clearly on the screen. It's just that it doesn't. Uh, once it starts fading out for the flight, which is like a two-second animation, it, it doesn't accept the input anymore. Huh. The dog boy. So there's like a carnival in the woods. So you had the the escapologist chest, and then you have the dog boy cage, but it looks like it's just made of like crappy random wood, and not like circus like equipment that would travel well. Ha 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 ha! Cool. I'm gonna go this way. Silence. More like silence, you. <laughs> Where are you? What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like, I was, there was noises all around me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You all right? Yeah. 
Yes, there we go. Burn like a kitten. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. If your cat sounds like that, take him to the vet. Are you kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, man. Why you're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, fuck! Oh. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Hi everybody, I'm Ranger Jump Scare. Down. Hi officer, how are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Path chosen. What's up? Oh, here it's the tutorial things. Here's QTEs. We know what those are. They're interrupts. Oh. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. That that would you believe this shit face she keeps making? Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. Something jumped out right in front of the car, and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved, and you now here we are. Something jumped out. I'm sorry. It was, just, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. They, ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no. Of course not. But, you know. I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest car? I don't know. This is my first cop. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. He took him all the way back out. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? What are you doing out here? This is a weird fucking question. What? What the fuck? Weirdo? We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> You're not gonna make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. Why you got blood on your neck? 
Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Uh... <laughs> With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem- Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. He is power tripping hard. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Nope. <laughs> Several red flags. Time to speed off. This is the, a murder cop. Okay. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. <laughs> Harbinger motel stay on the road wait but, but what if there's someone out there yeah i'll have a look good night <laughs> if he wrote down another destination i was gonna think it was a trap or something oh the motel could be Why is this guy just sitting there? That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Okay, so they noticed. Nice to meet you. Get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? They both sound like, oh they both sound like traps. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? i got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I 20s debatable easy i mean i'm kind of into mams okay we're done here <laughs> he's very pretend driving nobody moves the wheel that much what what road are they driving on where he's like that jittery <laughs> i love how whenever people play a video game or drive a car in a movie they forget how that works <laughs> or looks they made it You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? 
I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll yeah. leave the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> this is new information I didn't have in previous decisions. Or not so decisions, but, you know, my... The, the the leaps and guesses I made. You, I would have assumed that she uh, actually called the head. Is anybody home? Like, if you didn't have a real conversation and you called the head, the head to here, a place that nobody is at, then you call. You didn't really call ahead. <laughs> They're just going to discover your voice message uh, after your disappearance. Apparently, I briefly thought they might be okay and they might be in the real game, but I'm once again wondering if they don't. If they're once again a, a cold open murder couple. Which is a piece of tension that has been it has lasted longer than I expected. I definitely thought they're not going to survive the forest. But they've made it to the light, to the place. You have the most laser fo- what? It's on an island? Whoa. Uh, do it, do it, show the quarry, show the quarry, show the quarry! What doesn't kill you makes you stronger will make you stronger. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I was shocked. I was shocked there was not like a string section to accentuate the fact that she highlighted the quarry on the map, but she didn't even find the quarry on the map. What a subversion. Wow, my expectations are subverted. <laughs> Welcome to the the Undercroft? I guess. <laughs> you have the most laser focused phone light I have ever seen. How does it look? How does it highlight such a small spot? I don't know, you just said tools. <laughs> Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Oh, they're so good-spirited. I'm not seeing anyone. Don't, don't get stabbed know. in the eye. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. Don't like this. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Wrenches and a hand. Do you have? I mean, no. I guess why would you have a bolt cutter? But what the? F what? <laughs> These are both useless, right? Like, <laughs> it's a chained door. I guess it resets. The, it's like a slow motion sequence that resets if I wait too long. I guess, but I do get to, to go for as long as I want. Okay, so a wrench seems. Unhelpful. You can maybe break something with a like break the lock with the hammer, or I, I don't think either of these do the job. Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. So someone's trapped. What are you worried of getting caught breaking and entering? 
was super loud. <laughs> We're in the middle of the forest. You need a hand? Yeah. And you don't know you're in a horror movie. It's called role playing. At least one of us is in character. You've seen the Evil Dead, right? Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Why just drop the hammer? He really likes to just hang out. <laughs> oh, Ian. Weird name for a dog. Let's just wander on over to Ian's collar. Oop. This bloodied collar looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian anyway? Uh, you've, you've wandered into a pup play cellar. You should probably respect their privacy. Oh. This is a much Max? bigger clue. go back there was a, a body uh, maybe it was a possum or something no there was there was someone here I swear hey it's been kind of a night you know let's just get to the motel we can come back here first thing in the morning we can check everything out but I mean you must be exhausted I know I am I think our magic <laughs> Max? can you read you need to react a little more. You need to. You need to go. You need to do. Uh. Max. This blood. Help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. What? <laughs> She just runs. Yeah, I know, I get that game. This is a, it seems like a path. Oh. Mm. That needs to get wrapped. That's the cop. I'm calling it. Yep. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Every little movement, every little thing you do. You guys did go and call it the Harbinger Motel, like. Spit on the nose.
that guy was doing some acting. There's there's just face stuff going on that's very interesting. Are they gonna show the guy? Is there another narrator in this game? Are we gonna get another cover of Oh Death? Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. Oh. <laughs> there are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Ah. What doesn't kill you leaves you maimed. It's not very helpful, honestly. Or you get, like, long COVID. <laughs> like... A lot of things actually, a lot of downsides to almost being killed. Pack its quarry forever! Oh yeah, welcome to Life is Strange everybody. Everything's gonna work out. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. <laughs> oh, did they all, are they done? It's, oh, they they were leave. okay. So that, so we just wrapped up? Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic Space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. It's like when you have a housemates that load the dishwasher weird. You're like, what are you doing? How do you not plan for the future here at all? Jake, bags, focus. Wow, okay. You're the one that made a whole scene just for that. Feeling a little judged right now. You would be a Jake. Backwards cap Jake. It's you don't usually see summer camps like this in media where everyone has like smartphones. It's always like a call back to the eighties. According to reports from the local paper, the North Kill. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> hey, what do you uh, what do you listen to? Uh, no. Maybe you should uh, go in the trap door. That'd be fun. Just reduce the cast early. So I think that was a pretty strong opening to the game, honestly. Like that was a, that I enjoyed most of that chapter and how stuff was going down. I just was really confused by the lack of reaction to a lot of things by the by the character we were playing as like she didn't like yell when weird ghost lady shows up at the beginning uh not really explaining like what she's doing or what's happening and then like she sees what looks like a corpse just ripped open and says nothing no no real like telling her boyfriend what's up and then like doesn't just book it for the entrance immediately and then just like kind of like stares awkwardly when her boyfriend gets attacked in like what looks like weirdly like bright light so it's not really obscure what happened so i'm just like how, how are you how are you missing what's happening i don't i get the boyfriend's lack of response to the attack where he seems weirdly subdued because i think he was in shock at that point like but i'm like that's like a physical trauma reaction Yeah, I guess there is no spot called the quarry on the map because the whole place is called what the doesn't quarry. Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. It definitely seems like he's dead, but she might not be. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on with this thing. It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Close. Sorry, bro. <sighs> cool. Thanks, guys. Womp womp. Hello. Camp plaque. Is this a clue? Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953 and is still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. One, say, one thing I would say is I would I would like to not have the uh, path chosen prompt. It's it's like the equivalent of like the Clementine will remember this thing, but like way more intrusive because it's all ac across the whole screen and it's like yeah, a g game. I understand that choices are choices in the choice game. Man, who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. This is going to be an ironic statement later. But the, uh, I think they're trying to, like, sell the game to people, and sometimes you have to be as obvious as physically possible with some stuff. So you just have to really over, over, over sell the idea like, you made a choice. Whoa, this will change the story. And if you play it again, something else would happen. Crazy. I do wonder if I had come all the way down here, if I could have found something for our narrator. I'm guessing that she's a tarot reader and we're supposed to have narrow, we're supposed to have tarot cards. And then she'd be like, aha, the the judge, this, or the judgment card, this means to blah, blah, blah. And, uh, because the previous games had fortune telling mechanics of some kind that give you a glimpse of the future and that would affect the choice you would try to make. But the clue about the future was always so vague that making a choice on behalf of it wasn't always even reliable information. And you could even just end up making the wrong choice still. So it's not necessarily actually helpful. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Oh, he's just the ironic statement, man. I hate horror. It's coarse and it gets everywhere. The 
This is a pretty extensive library of very old looking books. Just the type that all the kids want to read at summer camp. The Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> Paper? Nope. What is up with how people are stacking? Wait, why are they on the st why are they on the steps? We're not acknowledging this. Okay. <coughs> Nothing will fuck with you more than trying to pay attention to how video games deal with stairs. In the apocalypse, like The Last of Us, they usually like just destroy them completely. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have like this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me. I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're real you. you know that? You said that on purpose? <laughs> Aha! No! That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've no, it was, said that. No, it was Big Dog. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey! doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or I don't know rip out the rotor arm and yes that would make you a total asshole okay and what does a rotor arm look like again it's like a arm that's all rotary you know it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out jake you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here one more night with emma wouldn't make a difference trust me chicks made up her mind yeah sure i guess we'll just have to find out are you, are you serious? Okay. Well, let's steal the rotor arm then, at least, because it's taking something that can be put back. I don't know if you can put the fuel line back if you break it, whatever that means, the breaking part, but also, like, 
the f did, what if the fuel comes out? I don't even know. Why is everyone so good with cars in this? Everyone's so ready to fuck with a car in this movie. I'm just calling it a movie. Here we go. Yeah, no, I get a game. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, dick. Cut. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good Don't do that. Freak. Don't. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, oh, we're you dealing with really the cell phones. For emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency. Oh, Ben. You die first. Oh, look at that. Look at that extended fucking smile. You, you die first. Okay. Oh, his fucking face. Don't get- stop getting this close. <laughs> okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hook. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Why does he look like the star of Shawshank Redemption? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't- I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep German Junior. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna look up that dickhead's actor, and, and he's gonna be like the, the grandchild of the guy that started in Shawshank Redemption and Jacob's Ladder. Or it was just a really specific angle. I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm.